My name is Dr. Andrew Siegel. I'm a urologist from the New York metropolitan area and today I would like to discuss with you bladder cancer, a very important subject. Now as far as staging of bladder cancer, staging is understanding the extent of the tumor and the transurethral resection largely provides that information. The image depicted on the left shows the various stages of bladder cancer. Stage TA just means superficial, originating from the urethelial lining. T1 is the layer deep to the urethelial lining, but not into the muscle. T2 means into the muscle. T3, through the muscle, into the fatty tissues around the bladder. And T4 is advanced tumor. The image on the right on top shows a low-grade papillary superficial tumor and the image on the bottom right shows bladder cancer cells within the muscle of the urinary bladder in other words a muscle invasive tumor now as far as grading of bladder cancer bladder cancer is graded into grades one through three in grade one the cells appear only slightly different from normal cells it's known as low-grade or well differentiated and these tumors in general tend to grow slowly and they're unlikely to spread. Grade 2 cells, the cells look more abnormal. They're known as medium grade or moderately differentiated and they may grow or spread more quickly than the low grade tumors. And finally, grade 3 cells look very abnormal under the microscope. They're high grade, they're poorly differentiated, and they're in general more rapidly growing and more likely to spread. So how do we manage bladder cancer? We've done the transurethral resection. What follows from there? Well, the answer is it all depends. If it's superficial cancer, in other words, it's not muscle invasive, sometimes what we will do is immunotherapy using a medication called BCG that is placed into the bladder in order to stimulate the immune system and help prevent recurrences. Sometimes that is not necessary. In any case, whether BCG is used or not, what is very important after the diagnosis of superficial cancer is surveillance, and that means checking for recurrences, since up to two-thirds of people with bladder cancer will ultimately have a recurrence. Recurrences are common, so bladder cancer needs to be followed by a strict surveillance regimen to ensure that there are no follow-up tumors, and if there are, that they're treated appropriately. And follow-up might uh, employ cystoscopy done, let's say, every three months for the first year, and if they're all normal, go to an every six-month program, sometimes annually. It also involves periodic cytologies and periodic imaging of the upper urinary tracts, the kidneys and the ureters. If the bladder cancer is muscle invasive, that is a different entity. It's a horse of a different color, so to speak. Sometimes this will necessitate aggressive open surgery, such as removing a piece of the bladder or removing the bladder in its entirety and diverting the urine to an alternative structure other than the bladder. Sometimes this can be managed with radiation therapy, sometimes chemotherapy, sometimes combination of the above. If the bladder cancer is advanced at presentation and is beyond the confines of the urinary bladder into the lymph nodes, bones, liver, etc., then it will likely require chemotherapy. Follow-up of bladder cancer. Bladder cancer is the most frequently recurring cancer with the exception of skin cancer. As I mentioned, up to two-thirds of patients will have recurrences and therefore surveillance with cystoscopy, cytology, and imaging is imperative. A word on the immunotherapy. What is most commonly used is called BCG, Bacillus Calmet Guerin, essentially live, weakened, or attenuated tuberculosis bacteria, also known as tuberculosis vaccine. Yes, as strange as it seems, tuberculosis vaccine placed into the urinary bladder by a catheter, retained for a couple of hours, and then urinated out and this repeated a number of times. This happens to be the most effective treatment for high-grade superficial bladder cancer. 
typically involves a six-week course and sometimes a second six-week course. Side effects may be low-grade fever and bladder irritation. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed a primer on bladder cancer. For more information, you can go to our website at bergenurological.com where you may download patient educational information. You may also find information on health and fitness on the website findyourfountainofyouth.com where if you would like you can download a free electronic copy of uh, my book on health, wellness, fitness, and longevity. Thank you.